Hello, my dear friends. I'm Stanislav Shamayev, a licensed business immigration and corporate attorney in Miami, Florida. Today's video is going to be more philosophical, I would say, but still there will be a touch of EB1A, EB2 national interest waiver visas, maybe some O1 visas. But I will be talking more about uh, political side of immigration and the future that awaits us. At the end of this video, you will be able to learn how to get a free evaluation of your talent visa or your EB2 national interest waiver visa. Let's go. All right, Stanislav, I just watched your introduction. What the hell are you talking about? Like you speak as if you're gonna give me some puzzles to solve. No puzzles today, just the discussion of what I see is happening in the field of STEM for the purpose of EB1A and EB2 national interest waiver visas. And I'm gonna be talking about Inflation Reduction Act. Why am I gonna talk about this act that has been signed by the president just recently? There are a lot of things going on in that law. However, I want to be focusing specifically on the part of that act that gives the incentives to the ones who are engaged in creating electrical vehicles. And you guys always ask me a lot of questions, Stanislav, what's my endeavor for the purpose of EB2 national interest waiver? I'm an engineer, I'm an IT person. I always try to give you as many current, my past and projected future endeavors that I have in my practice. And right now we're picking up a lot of EB2 national interest waiver visas just because we are getting so good at it, right? We're getting approvals left and right. And that's why I want to bring more professionals here to the States because it's beneficial for everybody. And again, guys, you remember the goal of my company to bring 10,000 people by the year 2030 to the States. Right now, we're at the point about 2,000 people. So we are falling behind. And I want you to be one of those 10,000 people who are going to be here in the States and you guys are going to be a part of Shamaev Business Law community. The people we are going to be uniting the ones who got approval through my company because there are a lot of us. So we want to build the community here so you guys could help each other. Why we are talking about electrical cars? If you bringing something for this industry, if you worked in that industry in your country or you know how to solve the problems that exist in this industry with your, with your background, you will get extra points in the eyes of the immigration officer because the current administration, the current policy of the US is to grow this industry, electrical vehicles. We want to get rid of all these uh, gasoline cars. Right now, I'm looking to the road that leads to the, to the ocean. The ocean is about half a mile from me. I can actually see it through my window. All these vehicles, like that Toyota, that Mazda, that... Uh, uh, oh, there's a Lamborghini, there you go. Those eat gas, and we don't want that. We want uh, the electric cars that in the future will be communicating between each other, so we don't have the traffic, we don't have the accident, and we don't have that pollution. So this is a long project, maybe for 20, 30, 40, maybe 50 years, Lord knows. But the ones of you who can help this industry grow will be able to come to the States, get a green card and live here forever, working on your projects, working in this industry and bringing benefit to the States. In the format of EB2 National Interest Waiver, what I want you to come to me with you will be saying, Stanislav, I know how to make those batteries better. Stanislav, I know how to create ecologically friendly batteries. I want to work on software for those cars. Whatever that is to help that industry to solve the problems. That's EB2 National Interest Waiver. And the best thing, if you already have experience 
and working in this industry in the past. Why? Because we need to show a substantial merit. We need to show that you are in a position to implement your endeavor. How do I show that you're in a position? Well, with your past experience, right? With your education, with your work, with your projects, with your publications, with uh, whatever help you brought to the industry back in your country or back in uh, the rest of the world. If we're talking about talent visas, O1 and EB1A, well, in this case, I want to see your achievements as an engineer, as a person with the technology, maybe it's a business, uh, IT person, or, or a scientist who is working in this industry to have some recognition back in your country or in the rest of the world. And then we can file your petition based on your achievements to tell the US government that you are going to continue to do the same things here. So if you are from the industry of the electrical vehicles, be it on the software side, be it in a design engineering side, be it there in the hardware, anything, technology, research, I can give you already 50% of approval rate without even knowing your petition at this point. However, I want to know more about what you do, about your achievements, about your recognitions, and about your endeavor, your future projects. And for that purpose, I prepared a free evaluation of your case. How to get a free evaluation of your case on EB1A or O1 or EB2 National Interest Waiver? This is very easy. Go down below in the description of this video and you will see two links. Free evaluation for talent visa. Bam, there is a link. Free evaluation of EB2 National Interest Waiver Visa. Bam, there is a link. Go to one of them or to both of them if you think that you qualify for both of those visas and fill out those questionnaires in as many details as you can. I will analyze your answers and I will come back to you within 48 hours with a free analysis of your case and it will be clear for you if your achievements or your projects will fit the immigration requirement. And if I think there is a potential in your case, I will invite you to the immigration planning. That's the process when we meet with you and I create and build a strategy of how we are going to be filing for your green card. Guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel because it's the best content among all other immigration attorneys. Please comment, ask the questions and smash that like button to show me some love. Also subscribe to my Instagram and to my TikTok. The links are below so we could be in touch. I'm Stanislav Shamayev, a lawyer of the future. Your future begins here. Good luck.